In the year 2010, NASA will carry out the last shuttle flight. The end of the shuttle program will cause thousands of NASA workers to lose their jobs, and it will also leave the United States without its own space vehicle. The space shuttle program has been flying for 28 years or whatever, which is an incredibly long time for one vehicle to fly that often. Endeavour Houston, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. That's what I started with when I came here, the shuttle program. 24 years ago, uh, so it's been pretty much my career. Okay, Chris, um, I guess we'll, we want to try and show you Chris Starr, if we can possibly get there in time. My first flight on the space shuttle was a great personal uh, event for me in 1992. But we've also learned from two accidents that uh, there is a technological deficiency in the thermal protection concept of a space shuttle, and that is you can't protect it from meteorite debris. And that flaw in the design concept is a current one and threatens the survival of future shuttle flights. And so if we keep flying the shuttle, we will have another accident. I'm working Constellation now, and Constellation is really needs the money that's going to the shuttle program at this time for them to be able to accomplish their job of uh, design and development of the, the, the new Orion vehicle, the vehicle that's going to replace the shuttle. I think no one will be upset about retiring the shuttle greatly if we have another vehicle to fly. It's the so-called gap between the end of shuttle flights and the resumption of human space flight by the United States of America that bothers American politicians and indeed NASA workers like myself. I think a lot of concern is the gap between when the shuttle retires to when we fly the first uh, Orion vehicle. At the political level, they have been, until recently said that we will just put up with the gap and fly on Russian soil. We are now in a purely business customer uh, provider relationship with Russia on the Soyuz, and it's getting to be difficult. The price varies based on what the going commercial tourist rate is. And then the, in addition, there is this, this restriction, which limits the amount of money that can be given to Russia because of perceived relationships with other foreign countries that Russia has. And that has to be approved by the president each time it's renewed. So all this creates big problems for NASA. And the Russian government's very aware of these problems and to some extent is sympathetic, but still drives a very hard bargain as at the going tourist rate. With the end of the shuttle program comes uncertainty about the future of American space exploration. It also causes many NASA veterans to feel nostalgia. Uh, the last mission, it's next year. It's going to be a sad day. There's no question about it. There's been a lot of people who've, their whole career has been, uh, almost 30 years have been working in, in, with the space shuttle. And uh, so when it retires, uh, it's, it's going to be tough. Um, I'll be very saddened by it uh, because it was such a big part of my career. But it's actually uh, the next step to allowing us to continue on with uh, space exploration. So, uh, yeah, like I said earlier, bittersweet, really. And so um, we had to change the... Uh, the it is unclear exactly how many more flights will NASA get out of its shuttle fleet, but one thing is certain. Thousands of NASA and contract workers will soon have to look for new jobs. That they will find them on Orion and Constellation programs is not a given. But the one I avoided was inventory.